Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, but the audio inside this video is not working. So I didn't want to waste it. It was a really good episode, but I'm going to have to commentary over the top of it. So uh, hang tight with us and, and let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, so whenever I first started off, I was talking about, hey, let's make this uh, a really good video. I'm going to start off by uh, getting the one blueprint that everybody needs, and that's the uh, the tiny floor, because it's the one by one by one. This is the most essential. So I was sitting here talking about, uh, let's go ahead and buy it, and putting in my blueprints, and then I was going to take off, and we were going to go get the uh, the cars, the Valhalla, and the... Uh, all the other cool stuff. Uh, oh, something else that I talked about right here was the blueprints. <clears throat> and I absolutely, I recommend if you haven't bought the uh, the blueprint yet, um, it's the build pass. It's the golden blueprint pass. I forgot what it's called. What is it called? Uh, let's see. It is called the super blueprint. It's a game pass, and it's for 720 uh, Robux, which is just less than uh, a $10 Robux card, and I highly recommend it. You, you gotta get it. So, it's so weird not having the, uh, the game sounds and stuff. So, um, we can kind of skip forward through this, right? Uh, I, I think so, that'd be fine. So, I can just go... Doo -doo 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 there we go. So over here at Jenny's, I went ahead and purchased the uh, the bell hauler, the big one, the all-purpose hauler, and then right after that, I went ahead and got the uh, the small one, the the XL utility vehicle, and we had more than enough money because of the ice wood. And I was talking about Jenny's cats. I was like, "Hello, Jenny," and she's like, "Hello, how are you?" It was it was funny. It was funny at the time, but I digress. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to um, stack these so I could get more boxes in there. But then when I went in, back in to uh, actually purchase it, like I got it stacked the way I wanted, I ran back inside and I was grabbing the uh, the trailer, but I didn't see my money. 9,000. And then she's like, uh, it's 13,000, not nine. She's like, do you want more money? And I was like, uh, <laughs> you don't have enough money, you punk. She called me a punk. Don't have enough money. So I said, you know what? That's good for now. We'll uh, we'll go over here and we'll look around for anything that we might get. I was thinking about buying the uh, the light bulb and going for another rookie axe, but then I decided against it. So we headed back. Once we got back to the base, we uh, did a little adjustment of our first first uh, plot, our first little vehicle. And once that was done, I went ahead and placed down the other two. And bam, we have our three car army right there. Good deal. So once I was done with that, I decided, you know what? I want to see if the Twitter axe is still there. So I headed over and uh, I got a little distracted here. I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to purchase uh, pretty much all the axes. So once I got all the axes stacked up, I went ahead and purchased them, opened them and um, I took them into my inventory. So there we go. I've got all the axes now. So then I went and bought the elusive, the illustrious uh, silver axe for 2040. Once I was done with that, I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to purchase all the original axes, I also need to purchase their boxes so I can set up a display and make it all cool. But that's, that. yeah. I, I bought them too slowly. So the hatchet disappears right right there oops, oops so I end up purchasing another one <laughs> once I get them all back in the truck I run them back up to the uh, the base and here I'm talking about thank goodness I've got a a um, private server and I don't have to worry about people messing up my stuff and everything else but one of the disadvantages to that is I won't ever have an eye an ostrich eye um, I won't get specialty woods stuff like that um, I don't even know if I'll ever get like spook wood or sinister wood. I, I don't know that they appear inside private servers, or if they do, it's a very low chance. So I end up dropping off all of the axes. Uh, the only ones I don't have are the silver axe and the rookie axe, but the rookie axe doesn't have a box, so I'm not sure that I'm going to put it on display. Uh, 
But once that's done, I drive over. Where did we go from here? I think I went to go see if Hoover was there. And he wasn't. So I was talking about uh, uh, how long it takes for Hoover to get over. And it takes eight minutes um, while he's sitting here. Uh, once, What was I talking about right there? There was something important I was talking about. Oh, look how serious my face is. Do I always look like that? I look that serious all the time? I don't know. Maybe. Anyhow, I found a way to pause it. So I ended up uh, talking to Hoover and saying uh, how much it was when you run. 7 minutes, 34 seconds. So I decided to go sit back in my car. Uh, wanted to close the door. We just listened to music for a little bit. I ended up actually pausing it and going and watching a YouTube video. So... Once we got back over to the, uh, the island, I said we, we were sitting there for just a little bit and made a comment of how Hoover popped us some popcorn and found it under the seat and it was all stale and he was all like, yeah, but it was free. And I'm like, yeah, you're true. It's true. It's true. It's free popcorn. So um, we go over to try and find the Twitter cave, which I found and I, I realized that all of my stuff was out of order again. And then for the ne next like five minutes, I tried uh, tried glitching into the wall. Uh, so anybody that's watched my old videos, I do this this wall glitch that is very common amongst um, Roblox games, and it's where you place your face in the wall and you zip in, like you you push forward on your mouse and uh, zoom in, and it causes your character to like do that, <laughs> but through the through the brick. Anyhow. After trying that for a really long time, I ended up getting stuck. But I got stuck. Uh, not there. Nope. Hold on, where is it? There we go. I got stuck in between the top rock and the bottom rock. But I found a little cave thingy. Like there was a, there was a cave entrance down there at the bottom. So I tried for a little bit to try and figure out how to get out of this. Ended up flipping myself over. Like that. Ta-da! So I found if you if you use the axes and you're you're facing this direction, you can actually move. Now I, it wasn't until later that I figured out um you can move. Like like here it is daytime, right? And I'm sitting here to like try and try and try and finally I paused it. And after a while I found if you're if you're on your face and you do one one two two one one two two, and you bring the axe out and you put the axe in like if you're putting it in and out of your backpack you start moving backwards or, or towards your feet but at a slight right turn so here i'm inching my way towards it now if you need to turn counterclockwise if you need to turn to the left you use one two one two one two one two you switch axes and that will turn you to the left but if you just do one one two two one one two two, you start moving back and slightly to the right. So here I am trying to inch my way. I'm struggling. I'm biting my bottom lip. I'm oh, I'm almost there. And no, this wasn't suspenseful. I actually made it. I made it. So uh, you guys couldn't see, and I could barely see on my screen. So after after talking about it for a few seconds, I was like, you know what? You guys need a filter. So I ended up putting the filter on. Boom. And now we have night vision. So right here, I saw another little piece. And I'm like, oh, is that water down there? Because I couldn't see. The filter was on. I dropped into it. And I'm like, no. Oh, wait. It's not It's not water. So after a few minutes of wandering around inside here, I realized it was just a, a tiny jump that I'd fallen into. But still a secret area. It's still an area that I don't think anybody's been in. But I think I've seen the back side of this one before. So I tried using the blueprint glitch, and the only blueprint I had was the the uh, the tiny box. So after much delay, I finally gave it up. I didn't have any angles that I could go through, and I just reloaded my slot. So okay, once I was back here, I realized that my filter was still on, and I went ahead and turned it off I thought to myself self you can go and get another blueprint you can get the long blueprints and possibly glitch into the Twitter cave without having to use the old-school glitch so that's what I did I came back over to Woods R Us 
and I picked up the uh, the smooth wall, which is the very long slender one. That's the one that I needed. And then once I had that, I also picked up the large floor blueprint. Once I had that picked up, oh, it was all downhill from there. You should have seen it. I was mentioning things and talking about things. Oh, I wish I had the audio to this. But uh, I was just going to show real quick how this works. So I slammed myself up against the wall and glitched outside. Boop, just like that. And the way this works is the blueprint is actually attaching to the part that's on your head. And then when you rotate, it will rotate you as well. It's a, it's a bug. It's a, it's a, a glitch, if you will. But then I realized I am sitting in a place where we normally don't glitch into. I accidentally pressed E. And then when I, I started to jump back up, I was like, oh, wait a second. What if I glitched in right here? This is a place where you could glitch in under blah, blah, blah. But anyhow, after struggling for a couple of minutes, I actually got in. I'm like, yeah, we did something. I did a thing. Well, this isn't very helpful. So I had to figure out how to get myself under the map. So after a few trial and errors, I did it. So I rotated down. And there we are. I'm actually underneath the map. I was very excited once this happened. Realizing that uh, a lot of people ask about the green thing that's underneath the, the, the shop. And I told everyone that that was the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was talking about the, the platform first. See that little platform below us? That's the retirement platform. So whenever Defaultio had the Beta Axe and the Alpha Axe, he, in, instead of like getting rid of it from the game, put it in server storage, he simply lowered it below the map. So if you ever got below the map or if you fell below the map, you would see the box down there. Now, it's not very useful to be able to get down to the box because in order to purchase the box, you would still have to get it back up, put it on the counter for Tom, and then purchase it through Tom. Um, still not possible. So, oh, and there's little Tom's feet over there on the right-hand side. Hi, Tom. Code, where are you? What are you doing? I'm, I'm digging under your shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, after I figured that out, um, I, what, what, what did I do? What did I do? Let's sit forward here. Oh, I was talking about the green thing. That right there, you've seen one of these before. If you've ever been over to the Tangia, the winter biome, you know that there's another one that's exactly like it. So this one was supposed to be over here for the main area, and he, Defaultio, ended up putting it over in the Tangia area, the Icewood. Um, just before he hid this and made everything before the, the winter games started, this was 2016, I think, there was a hole that this thing set down into, but he never put it inside the hole, so there was just this great big hole right next to what are us, and nobody knew what it was. They're like, what is this hole? People were driving cars into it. People were trolling with it. It was, it was a bad deal. Anyhow, the hole wasn't very deep. You could jump out, and it had these wood things around it. I, for some odd reason... Uh, let's see, I, I was able to glitch back out of here. Oh, oh, hold on, there it is. They're, they're showing me the actual glitch. I got it attached to my arm, and maybe. Oh, come on, code. Do it, do it. There we go, I got out. So, once I was out, uh, I was walking around, and I was just talking about the, the hole that everybody was talking about, and... I thought, you know, I wonder if it's still down there. So I glitched into the floor. Just like this. Oh, nope, I did it the wrong way again. So let's go like this. Nope, still didn't work. So once I got myself on the ground, I figured out, oh, I can I can continuously rotate. So if I if I put it on my legs and rotate down, I should be able to go in. And if you saw, there was a quick flash of wood right there. Some wood panels. I thought to myself, oh, he never took out the, uh, the hole. And sure enough, I glitched into the floor next to Wood Are Us. And there it is. That's the hole that everyone used to jump into. 
Now, it's covered up because of the uh, the top here, but that's where we used to be able to like jump in and freak people out and drive cars into. So I thought to myself, you know, self, you could get down there. You, you could get down there and try and jump out once you're below. Of course, uh, it didn't work because I think there's still a solid object there. But what did happen was very interesting. I walked too far south of the object, too far south of the hole. And I ended up getting stuck halfway in between the hole and the floor. Well, with that, I was able to kind of move around a little bit and... Once I zoomed in, come on, zoom in, there we go. I am underneath, on the green thing, on on the, the deposit with the, uh, the old blueprint shelves. Now, it didn't last for long because I remembered that you could grab the top and I was trying to open the top and drop in and everything else. I thought, what if you were to take in and drop in wood down there? You could take the wood, rotate it downward, and see if it wouldn't work. Maybe you could sell it off. Maybe you could, maybe if you put a whole bunch in there, it would appear over in the cabin. So I kept talking to myself and, and basically came up with the idea that we can need to bring a whole bunch of wood over here, glitch it down underneath the map, and just see if it will appear as, as firewood inside the cabin. But I think that's going to be for another time because it didn't matter how much I glitched I could not get underneath there I even uh, decided the shelves should be right here well they're they're not they're directly under where the other shelves were or where the other shelves are so I would have to be in between that little gap right there and then I should be able to jump under the map Boop. so close but just not close enough. So, maybe if I rotated and then I did a turn. Or maybe, maybe? If I do a rotate and a turn at the same time, I should be able to rotate under and then to the side. Maybe. But, I digress. Anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I don't know when I hit that actual button, so I'm just kind of talking to the end. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Hold on. Oh, am, am, am I still talking? Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.